Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 19th of 2024 is titled The Great Carina Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Carina Nebula, also known as NGC 3372, and is a very prominent nebula in the southern sky. So not visible to those of us at northerly latitudes, but those farther south get a great view of this large star forming region. And in fact, it's one of the largest ones known within our galaxy. And this will dwarf things like our local Orion Nebula much closer to us, but not near as large and prominent as this one. So here what we see is the nebula nebula and we see the glowing red light of hydrogen gas. Now when hydrogen gas is excited, it will give off a distinct red glow. Hydrogen makes up the vast majority of atoms in the universe. So no matter what we're looking at most of the time out in space with any of these nebulae, we are looking at hydrogen gas. So we see those when they specifically glow when they're excited by the energy of very hot, very young stars. And those stars emit the ultraviolet radiation that is needed to excite that hydrogen gas. Now we also see some dark dusty areas here. Those dark areas are actually regions where there's excess material. And it's a little bit bigger particles that we call dust. It's quite different from and much smaller than typical household dust that we may be used to on Earth. But there's enough of it there scattered out over light years that it can block out the light from behind. So while some of these areas look quite dark and some of them even look empty, there really is still material there and material and stars beyond them. We simply cannot see it because of the amount of dust within uh, our field of view here. Now, one of the prominent things here would be the star Eta Carinae. And that is just up above center. So sort of up above that dark little patch toward the middle of the image. Eta Carinae is a um, a star that is very massive, maybe a 100 times the mass of our sun, and a star that will eventually explode as a supernova. So a star that we will eventually be able to see explode. Now when will that happen? Well, that's a very good question. So we don't know when it will explode, but it could be 10 years from now, 100 years or a 1000 years from now, but eventually we would see this explode. And in fact, it may have already exploded. Why? Well, this is about 7500 light years away. And what that means is, is that we see it not as it is right now, but as it was 7500 years ago. So if it exploded a 1000 years ago, we'd still have 6500 years to wait for that light to reach us here on Earth. If it exploded 7000 years ago, we'd still have 500 years to wait for it that that light to reach us because light cannot travel infinitely fast through space. It takes it time and it travels at the distance of one light year per Earth year. So that's how fast it would travel. Each light year means we're looking back in time by one year. So the nebula that we see now, not as it is right now, but as it looked 7,500 years ago, and how it looks today, we will know in 7,500 years. So that was our picture of the day for April 19th of 2024. It was titled, the Great Carina Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Diamond in the Sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.